it seems, Keith, there are many pioneers of microscopy. Mm -hmm. And today we're talking about another one, a real leader in the field in the very Indeed. early days. Yep. And this is an Italian. That's right, because science is Europe-wide in the 17th century. And Robert Hooke's book, Micrographia, inspires many people. One of them was Marcello Malpighi, who uh, is associated with Italian universities, Bologna and Pisa. However, we have his manuscripts, which is rather nice. Okay, sorry Italians, they're here at the Royal Society. Marcello Malpighi. He was a doctor, that was like his stock and trade. That's right, he's a professor of experimental medicine and he writes copious tracts on various topics based on his microscope observations and he sends them to the Royal Society for publication. Okay, well let's get into some of these mm. papers then. So he begins with some correspondence with Henry Oldenburg. So as I understand that Oldenburg, who you tell me was a secretary of the Royal Society at the time, That's right. basically was saying, I like the cut of your jib, you're doing some good mm. stuff, tell me more. And then Mal Piggy was like, tell you more, I'll tell you more. And he just sent loads of great stuff. Absolutely right. So these are uh, the works that he produces across a variety of topics. So we've got pages and pages of manuscript, and then we get to the illustrations. And the first image we see is, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> it's actually the frontispiece from his collected work. So it, it's quite a, a fanciful and unusual design, isn't it? Slightly crazy, but, but rather great in its way. Okay. Anyway, then we get to the business. This is more what I was expecting to see. Right. Well, I mean, this is just all sorts of stuff. And these are all hand-drawn, are they, Keith? That's right. Mal Piggy was a very good artist. He would produce sketches himself for finished works. We can maybe find some classic images here. So you can see sprouting plants. Yeah. So you can see the seeds developing here. So he sketches at periods so you can see the gradual development of the thing he's looking at. So he's a developmental biologist, if you like. Okay. He's using his own eyes, magnifying glasses, as well as microscopes. So he, he uses the tools that are appropriate to, to what he's after. What are some of your favourites? Oh, so here, here we have uh, embryos. They're rather more sketchy, these ones, I think. But you can see that there are embryos in the centre there, and he's drawing the, the blood systems around it. Oh, look at this. Chicken embryo. Oh, yeah, look, and here it is, becoming more chicken-like. Mm -hmm. My favourites are actually the, the silkworm drawings, the very earliest of the sets that he sent to the Royal Society. That is showing some real artistic talent, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah. So here you've got the whole caterpillar, and Malpighi made many, many discoveries using the microscope, but he's the, the person who realises that insects breathe through holes in their outer bodies, so he's important for that. And as we turn the pages, you can see him dissecting the creature showing the various systems internally and he will eventually get to the point where the caterpillar, the silkworm, turns into the silk moth. So you can see the pupil stages here and eventually the whole moth. Oh, there we go, finished product. And then what happened? They, the Royal Society did publish his stuff as a book? That's right, and uh, they would engrave uh, those images up. So here you can see the book version of that work. Okay. So here we have the Silkworm book and Viscount Brown, the first president of the Royal Society, is on the title page there. And as we turn in, you'll see here we have that first illustration that oh, we saw. Yeah. Here. So we can see the before and after here. Yeah. The chalk drawings have a authenticity and knowing that it was done by hand is pretty special. Yeah. But the finished ones are pretty they're good pretty too. They're pretty good, yeah. They're, they're slightly more simple, I think, but they, they show the right kinds of, of details. So there we go, mm. from a bunch of letters saying, I like your work, let's talk some more, to sending a manuscript, to sending the pictures, to the finished Publishing product. Publishing the book. The whole process here, right in front of us. And the final image in this set, which is my favourite one, after dissecting it down and showing the moth, he shows you a little gouache portrait of the caterpillar. So just to top it off, he said, here's something a bit more photorealistic and a bit more... Exactly right. And it is. I mean, it is, uh, it is very good, I think. That is good. Yeah. We have the original drawing just behind you there, Brady. So look at this. Here it is in Micrographia, but here, the hand-drawn version by Hook himself. I want that to sink in for people here. I mean, Micrographia is this famous book with all these incredible images that have been reproduced, but the hand-drawn originals seem to have been lost in the mists of time. People like Keith don't know where they are. But here, this is the only one that Keith knows of that has survived.